Welcome back. Joining us for a look at the day's markets action is independent analyst Odwa Makwenju. Odwa, thanks so much for joining us this evening. Now, it's been quite interesting to see the turn in markets. I mean, yesterday we had markets powering through. It was green across the board from the U.S. to Asia to Europe. Even here at home, I think we ended up... Uh, close to 2% higher, the resources 10 complex up 4.5%. I don't know, what, what's happening today? I mean, you'd expect, um, you know, the Fed signaling a rate cut in September to continue to boost those markets, but that doesn't seem like the case. Uh, 100%. I mean, uh, the, the momentum has been going quite st uh, strong over the past few, you know, weeks or months, if I can say that. Mm -hmm. But if you look at, I mean, given from last week as well, we did see a turn in major markets, uh, you know, that, that affected then the downturn. Coming locally, right, uh, the one thing you want to look at the PGM or platinum price, that took a, a big hit today uh -huh. and PGM miners haven't been the best performing stocks or counters at the current moment. So that's what's hurting the resources sector for the local GSE. Um, but I mean, we did have a great week. Uh, we could be seeing a bit of profit taking as well, mm -hmm. especially because we reached all time highs uh, this week already. So, I mean, uh, as much as we, we like a, a good upturn, it, they, I mean, sometimes it does pull back. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my thought around it. I think it's a bit of profit taking and uh, also i mean ai is also lo losing its momentum as well if you look at that story mm. uh we you know there's been a lot of hype around it however now the the chickens must come home to roost uh, meta has had some good performances on that front however the likes of microsoft doesn't have a very good story to tell on that front you know, some profit-taking rotation when it comes to picking stocks and just, you know, a wait-and-see approach. That's what we're kind of seeing right now. So I want to talk about um, central banks um, a bit more. It's been a really big week for all central banks. Um, the Fed, you know, keeping to its boring stance, <laughs> leaving rates unchanged. But we had some exciting news out from, you know, Bank of Japan hiking rates. And then we also had today the Bank of England uh, cutting rates for the first time in four years. Let's talk about that. That first cut, as I mentioned, in four years, as it maintains, you know, that inflation rate at 2%. What have you made of that move? I think especially for the UK, it's a very great success story in terms of how they've managed to fight inflation over the past two years. Uh, if you remember in 2022, they were one of the highest, you know, uh, inflation rate, the inflation numbers in, 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 the, in the world. And this now is a, is a great story for them. How I'm digesting it, it was a very close call. If you mm. look at the, mm. the split, it was a 5-4 split in terms of the decision to cut rates. Um, so I think that it's, it's a, you know, it was a great uh, timing for the new uh, parliament as well uh, when this cut came about. But in terms of them fighting inflation, they've done very well on that front. Uh, the economy uh, came out of a, a recession as well. So I think this will also boost in terms of people now going out and trying to get some uh, leverage in order to get the economy boosting a bit more. Uh, I think it is, I mean, also counterparts, uh, the ECB did also cut rates mm. very recently. So I do think that in that region, this does seem to be the play. So it does seem like, you know, the Fed falling behind a bit um, when you look at um, it against its peers. But let's move over to some company news. Lots and lots of companies releasing earnings throughout the week. We had AB InBev topping analyst expectations, delivering um, strong second quarter profit. The group seems quite optimistic about its profits and it's also keeping, you know, to its full year guidance. AB InBev, is it one you like? Um, or would you prefer the other counters, your Heineken's or your Diageo's, also out with results this week? Uh, I mean, AB and Bev is, is a very good stable. Uh, I mean, the counterparts are, are quite good. Uh, however, I do also favor them, uh, AB and Bev, that is, at this current point in time. As you said, they've had very good results. Well, not very good, let me say good mm. enough. Uh, especially, you know, battling uh, the bad publicity that they had uh, 
I would say, last year or beginning of this season. So, I mean, they, they have turned around that story quite well. And, I mean, also they've got uh, the likes of the Olympics, which they are sponsoring to give to revive that business a bit more. So I do think that the company is well positioned, especially in this point in time. And uh, with a great outlook that they have, I think that we do have some upside as well uh, as the company continues. Very interesting that you mentioned the Olympics there and how, you know, that can be a gain for them. And when I was looking at Heineken's um, results, they were talking about how, you know, they weren't making gains off the back of, you know, the, so the soccer tournaments that had been taking place because, you know, there was just some sort of, you know, cut down in consumer spending. So it's, it'll be interesting to see how those Olympics or, you know, the buying within that Olympic period pays out in their results in the next quarter. Uh, Otwa, I want us to look at Quantum Foods. You know, there's been some troubles there lately with one of its biggest shareholders, Country Bird, calling for a removal of yet another director. Have you been watching the developments playing out on that front? And do you think it's something investors should be worried about? Because it, it, it's, it's starting to look like a governance issue now. A hundred percent. I mean, it, it has been going on for quite some time now. Uh, so, I mean, they did announce a bit earlier this year that they're looking to change one director and now they're expanding the list. Uh, I mean, it, uh, it does seem like investors, are, however, are not too worried about it. We are seeing a, a, a spike in that. Uh, but I, I do also see that, you know, the business it does have a major holding uh, that's country birds that is in the business as well, uh, Quantum Foods. And I think they just, uh, I think it's more of a, yes, governments play, but also to have people that they would like to work with in, in, in putting it mildly. So it is concerning. I mean, every, you know, uh, a staff shift of this magnitude is concerning to, to see from the outside. Uh, however, I mean, the business has, I mean, it's country bird is a big a player in the, in the market as well. So I do think that they, hopefully know what they're doing mm -hmm. and hopefully things uh, turn out well for the business. Odo, I've got about 30 seconds to go. What is your stock pick today? Uh, my stock pick has to be ShopRite. ShopRite has been doing very well. as the best performer in a uh, failing uh let's say, sector. And, I mean, even though the P.E. ratio is quite high, this does seem a bit expensive. But, I mean, looking at where they are, who they're fighting against, and their positioning, that's why I'm picking them right now. Audra, thank you so much for your time and those insights and just taking us through the day's markets activity. That was independent analyst Audra Makwenju.